Hi, I'm Todd Clippinger, and welcome to the American Craftsman Workshop. In my last video, I gave a review and showed the results of using the Dust Deputy Cyclone by Oneida. The Dust Deputy is a mini cyclone that you use in conjunction with your shop vac to separate the dust into another container so you don't fill up your shop vac and, fill, and clog up the filter so fast and have to clean it out as often. Now, if you're interested in seeing that review, you can click on the link and go check out the previous video and see the results of that. But um, one of the questions that the review has uh, been bringing in is how big does the shop vac need to be to be effective with the dust deputy? And um, I actually have three shop vacs because I'm a remodeling contractor and um, I have a, a small, medium, and a large. Now, the, the first two here, the, the large and the medium one, they both work wonderfully with the dust deputy but to be honest when the question came in how big does it need to be do the small ones work i really didn't know so i went out to the work van and i brought in my small um shop vac and 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 hooked it up and used it for a day now what i don't have is hard technical data and numbers from using devices to check airflow and static pressure but what i do have is practical user experience and as a remodeling contractor i'm using my tools all the time and and basically, I can, I can give an accounting for practical user experience. Now, the, the, uh, um, the shop vacuum that I continually, uh, that I always have hooked up and dedicated to using with the Dust Deputy is this medium sized one. It has a 9 amp motor and it does a wonderful job. It collects dust not only off of my random orbital sanders, but off the belt sander and off, uh, for instance, my Festool track saw and any hand planers that I might hook up to it. But I also can hook up the big hose and use the floor wand and, and sweep the floor. And it'll, it'll still pick the dust up. It'll pick up small pebbles and everything. And of course, the biggest one, there's no doubt that this one works great. And I've hooked it up as well. And, and it just has endless power. It has a 12 amp motor and it does wonderful. Now, when you're looking at, you know, when you're looking at shop vacuums, you're trying to make a decision. The best thing to do is just disregard horsepower and look at amps. And what you're going to find is most medium size um, shop vacuums, no matter what brand they are, they're going to be about eight and a half or nine amps. The largest shop vacuums are going to run about 11, 11 and a half or 12 amps. And, and I haven't really seen hardly any of the shop vacuums going over 12 amps. Now here's, what's interesting. The small one, I went and pulled this out of my van and out of my work van and, and hooked it up and used it for a day with the dust deputy. The small one, it, I noticed it left a little bit more dust, uh, from the random orbital sander and it left a substantial amount uh, more dust with uh, the track saw, my Festool track saw, and it, it really did, wouldn't, didn't work very well using the floor wand at all. It just didn't pick anything up except the very lightest dust. But what's interesting is this small one has a 9 amp motor, but I think because of the way that it's configured, it doesn't allow for as much airflow as this 9 amp motor uh, on the medium size shop vac. So uh, even though the amperage may be similar or close to or, or even the same, as it is in this case here, uh, the, the medium-sized shop vacuums are going to do probably a wonderful job for you, and I think you'll be very happy with them, either hooked up to the dust deputy or maybe in another instance where you have to uh, uh, do other um, uh, demo cleanup or maybe you get flooded and you have to use it to suck up water. What I find is the medium-sized shop vacuums do a wonderful job, and they work great with the dust deputy. So there's my answer is don't get the small, uh, don't get any of the small shop vacuums. I don't think you'll be very happy with the performance hooked up to the dust deputy. Stick with at least with a medium size and a large one. Now I, I understand that these are all rigid shop vacuums and you may think that doesn't represent a large cross section of the other brands, but actually it does. I, as a, as a contractor, I'm on the job site a lot of times with other guys that have other products and I get to see them and use them in action. You know, a lot of times when it, it's kind of fun being a contractor because sometimes on the other job, on the job site, the other contractors have their tools and we're always comparing them and it turns into a big uh, grunt and scratch fest to compare and see who has what and how it performs. So that's always kind of a lot of fun. And it gives me a lot of exposure to a lot of different tools, which is beneficial to me because now I can share it with you. So anyways, Dust Deputy. If you want to see the review, go check it out at the previous video, I'll give you the link. And my recommendation is stick with a midsize or large shop vacuum. Stay away from the small ones. Until next time, stay safe in your own shop. Buy due to various factors, uh, such as, um, 
uh, 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 crap. Uh, features, crap. 